All right, all right. How's it going, everyone? Once again, this is Jose Trujillo. Welcome to the studio. I'm going to be painting something awesome today for you guys. Mm. I have water today. I don't have Starbucks. Dang it. <laughs> all right. So, today I'm going to be making a painting, a figurative expressionist painting. Okay, we're going to put an awesome figure here. This is a 12 by 36 inches canvas, uh, stretch canvas. It's one of those narrow, of course, you can see here, long canvases. And uh, just get ready to operate. Bam, bam, bam. Bam. All right. So thank you guys. I want to thank every single one of you who has subscribed to my to my YouTube uh, channel. You guys are these are amazing. I I didn't I didn't really think it was going to start. Uh, I was gonna start growing uh, viewers that you know that that fast. Um, just you know, I'm just little old me right here doing my doing my thing. But apparently some of you guys like what I do, so so thank you for that. I appreciate it very, very much. So these are sort of uh, almost like sculptures, you know. This is the way I like to look at them, almost a, as if they were uh, uh, Greek, Romanesque, maybe sculptures. Um, Okay, very intuitive as most of my work, okay. It's like, what's going on? I don't know. Something's definitely going on. Okay, check it out. Then I'm going to some people tell me some people have told me hey man you, you do it so quick like like what do you charge why do you charge what you charge if you do it so quick? Uh, you know of course me being me I use the the awesome artist cliche. <laughs> it took me more than 20 years <laughs> to do it this quick. <laughs> but it's true. I mean, it shouldn't take you more than 20 years to do one, right? But I'm, not, I'm talking about as a, the whole thing, you guys. You guys know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the vision. The whole vision thing. So it's sort of a, it's going, it's going that way, but it's coming this way. It's sort of a, a, a ju juxtapose. Um, why? I, I, you know, it's just, it's, uh, it's so much interesting to the eye. Lately, I've been, I've been um, watching um, documentaries, sh little short documentaries. You can find them on, on, on YouTube of Picasso and and I've been very inspired by his work lately. I, I know that maybe it doesn't translate in the, in the painting itself. I, I hope not because that's not what I'm inspired. I'm not necessarily inspired by his work. I'm inspired by his work ethic. The cat was a monster. He was a beast. He was just a... He was just a beast. You know, the way he worked. Something I looked up, I look up to. I look up to... Uh, Always have looked up to uh, hardworking artists. I think there's a lot of artists out there, uh, and I'm talking about the the, the full-time artists. Right? I'm not talking about um, 
if you do it as a hobby or whatever, you know, that's certainly different. I'm not talking about like full-time artists out there who who are um, who kind of do one painting here and there, you know, and, and or or usually have never really gotten deep in their artwork. And I mean deep as in as in ex, ex, explore really the artwork, you know, the art. Um, the vision, make it stronger, explore it more. But Picasso, man, Picasso was a, was an animal. He was a complete animal. And I mean that in a good way. I mean, I'm not talking about his, his, you know, lifestyle or whatever. That's, that doesn't, I'm not judging you guys, I'm not judging. The cat could have done whatever he wanted with his life. I don't. That's not what I'm talking about. Some people get caught up on that. You know, they're like, "Oh, Picasso was a nasty man. He was a womanizer. Blah blah. He, you know, he used people. And, you know, all, all the, all the, all the cliches." Picasso. But I don't know, I guess there's just something about that guy. I like how relentless, you know, he 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 was. And I aspire to be as relentless as him. I aspire to be as relentless. Never stop. Continue to, to explore. Continue to grow. Never give up. He was an athlete of the arts, that's for sure. <laughs> Enough about the castle, I'm here to talk about myself, anyways. <laughs> Dang it, Picasso. So, yeah. So, here's something that I like to do. Um, it's um, play a bit, a bit with, with color. Once you've decided to go very dark, play with color. Because now, now you can't really... Um, it's not like you want to go lighter or you want to, you know, or you want to go darker, even if you wanted to. Like, at, at this point, I, I'm more interested in what's happening inside. This is, in, in Spanish, um, there's a, a, a word, it's more in rural areas, in rural Mexico, certainly, and they call it bulto. And bulto means sort of like a, like a, I don't know, so, you know like, like a thing. You don't really know what's happening. You know that it creates a, a human figure, you know, but, but you're not quite convinced what's happening with the human figure. Are they, are they standing? Are they sitting? Are they crouching? You know, are they, where, where are their hands? What are they doing? And that catches my, my imagination a lot, you know? Are they pointing somewhere and you just can't see because of the angle? This is one of the, the things that certainly catch my attention. Is it a male, female figure? You know? All the questions, you guys, all the questions. What's happening? Where are all these questions coming from all of a sudden? You know? And that's why I say it's like a, one of those uh, statues, uh, Greek statues, or, you know, especially the, especially one of those vandalized statues after a city was taken, you know, like Rome invasion or 
And now you see those with their arms cut off or the noses, you know, and, and you almost, your brain wants to finish the dialogue. You know, that's, that's one of the reasons why I like intuitive artwork, because it allows for the, for the brain, um, for the imagination, right, that we all have. It's like, it's, it's, we, we, the curiosity is, the, you know, that curiosity is, is what we are, we're almost all about, you know. We want to finish the dialogue. You know, it's, 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 and it's not a, it's not necessarily like a, like a sneak peek, you know, <laughs> like, like, oh, look at this, and then, no, it's, it's more, it's more like, um, you have the components there, you know, you're, you're, you're almost uh, certain of what's happening, but, but there's something missing, and you like to, you like to know what that something is. And, uh, and the mind will, will finish the dialogue, or will attempt to finish it. That's what makes it fun, you know? It's, it's, it's the whole point of, of, that's why I'm not very fan of realism, or, you know, it, unless it's done in a certain way where, where that has to happen also, where, that, where there is not much information, it, just enough information for for, for the curiosity to you know to pick in, because if you give all the information, uh, it's it's like when you're dating, you know, you're starting to date. I don't know if you remember when you were starting to date. Who doesn't, huh? <laughs> when you started to date, that's the whole point, you know. It's 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 the whole point of it is that you don't know the person. That is the whole point of, of that that. That uh, that a beauty of 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 the dating, you know, when you're young, you're falling in love, or you're look, you know, you're looking to date someone. The whole point of it is that you don't know the person, so any little bit of information is wow, you know, because there's so much information unknown. There's so much unknown, and you can't wait but to discover it. You just can't wait but to discover it. There's so much happening and you're not sure what's, you know, what really, and, and that's what makes it amazing that you don't know. You don't know what's happening. It's like, tell me what's happening. I won't tell you, tell me. I won't tell you. Take me out to the movies again and maybe I'll talk to you about it. <laughs> I'll talk to you about it a little bit more. But I think that's the whole, the whole uh, thing, no? That there, is, there, there is that aspect that we don't know, and 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 it is what makes it interesting. It's what makes it so dang interesting. Anyways, that's what I think. I may be, I may be very wrong. <laughs> but you know, it, it's not just dating. I just thought about dating because I think I used that example before, um, and it's the quickest example I can think of right now. But if you think about it, anything, you know, anything, because it's the new. The new is 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 it's like the new world, you know, the new the new world. Let's let's go conquer that new world. I, I could imagine, um, I don't know. Uh, the conquistadors, so, you know, I, I, I could just imagine them being like, we're going to this whole other place, and it's new, you know, it's so new. Well, well tell me about it. I can't. I can't, because there's not enough information, you know. Well, tell me a little bit more. I just, I can't. I can't. Dude, you're either in or you're out. Get on the boat. Get on the boat. Get on that Nina Pinta or Santa Maria. Well, that's, that's a different cat, but, you know. If Hernan Cortes had a Nina Pinta in Santa Maria. <laughs> but, uh, but I think that's the, that's the magic. You know? I think essentially that's it. 
The magic is the unknown. And if you put all the information, but see, it's a, it's a delicate dance, right? It's, 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 uh, it's sort of a tease. And, and you, you, you get just enough information Um, sort of like a magic, you know, like a, like a magic uh, show. They give you just enough information to, to, to make you, to make you wonder, you know. I think that's what it is. That's, that's one of the reasons I love art so much. It reminds me of that, you know, that this, this could really mean something else. But I don't know. I don't have all the information with me. Anyways, you guys get the... You guys get the, the point here. This is the kind of stuff that has always driven me to paint. This exactly it. Because you don't know what happens. One of the reasons I love intuitive painting is exactly that. You don't know what's happening. There's something beyond you that knows, and you're playing sort of a pull and push and pull, you know, type of game. You 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 are you are you are intuitive. Um, you I call it the knower, right? The all knowing, the knower, the, the 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 wise, the wise in you, the wisdom in you is playing. And the, your your conditioned mind, it's really, it's the unconditioned and the condition, right? Uh, but your conditioned mind is, is uh, which is intelligent, the, 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 the book smart, let's call it that. The, 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 the one that is judging, the, the judge, right? It's saying, oh no, that's not right. And the other aspect of you, your heart aspect is going... Yeah, look, hold on. It's like your heart and your and your mind are playing a game. It really it really comes down to that. Your heart and your mind are playing a game, and and uh, and the, the, it's a trust thing. It really comes down to that. When you when you paint, you're really you're really closing your eyes and you're throwing yourself. When you paint like this, when you paint, when you know exactly what the painting should be, you're not closing your eyes and throwing yourself into an abyss. And seeing what happens, you are calculating. You're expecting. There's a there's a there's a very high degree of expectancy happening because you've calculated, you know. But when you're paying in, intuitively, it's almost like you were. I call it before. It's you're dying a little bit. It's, it's a little death. It is a little death. Every time you paint intuitively, you die a little bit. You die to the to the to the ego because the ego wants to control it. It wants to say, no, it's wrong. It's wrong, it's wrong. What are you doing? You know? Hold back. Why are you doing that? It doesn't look right. It's going to look stupid. It's going to, you know, this and that. You're you're breaking essential rules of painting. You know, and and but but the heart is like, leave me alone, let me be. <laughs> <laughs> the heart doesn't care. It, 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 it's just that we, we, we tamed it to care. We, we keep taming it. We keep taming it to care. The, the heart doesn't care. The heart, the heart is not supposed to care. The heart is here to live. That's where we... We, we, um, That's why we, one of the reasons we kind of movies, or one of the reasons we, we um, have certain experiences of, of deep truths that, you know, we hear something and we, we kind of cry a little bit and we're like, it's so true, it's so true. It's because the heart, the, the heart knows. I'm not talking about some emotional, only I'm talking about some deep truth, you know, the heart, the heart understands that. And the heart is, uh... Constantly reminded, right, that it will cease to exist by the intellectual aspect of you. The intellectual aspect of you, of course, is important, 
but it's constantly reminding you that you are going to you're in trouble either your self-image is in trouble your body is in trouble something is in trouble so the heart can't really be free you know and I think that's one of the reasons why we like um, we even we even enjoy looking at bad boys in movies you know bad people uh, the villains because the villain um, not a bad person but the freedom of the villain I think we, we, we get drawn to and like yes I get that yeah 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 I get that you know I understand I understand John Dillinger. He just, he just, he's, he's, he wants to be a free man, you know. <laughs> um, anyways, I think I'm, I'm going awry over here already. But you guys get the point. You guys get the point. Yeah. And there's something happening in the horizon, but we're not sure what it is. You know, we just, we know something's, something's happening. You know that if you you stay there a little longer, something uh, something is happening, but we're not we're not sure what's happening. So we keep digging to see what's happening. The human mind is an amazing, it's a whole, it's a whole world. You really, you're, you really never, never leave, um, the childlike in you. Um, you suspend it for a bit, you know. Work, life, responsibilities. But you really never leave it. It never leaves you. It's that aspect of you that makes you want to take, you know, fall in love. It's the aspect of you that makes you, if you're into bungee jumping, that kind of stuff. It's the aspect of you that makes you do that. It's the aspect of you that made your mom go, What are you doing? <laughs> it's the purity in you. I believe we're all pure. It doesn't mean we behave pure, but the, the, the element of purity is always in us. You know, no one can take that away from you. We try to come up with theories as to why we're not here in order to to uh, judge ourselves and others. But No matter what you do, no matter where you go, that aspect of you is going to stay there. It's what makes you, you. There's a, a, a childlike purity that makes me paint like this. There's a childlike purity in you that is fascinated by it. Or that is maybe not fascinating, maybe, maybe you're in, in wonder, like, what, what the hell is this cat doing, saying, let me try to figure it out. That aspect that is trying to figure it out is usually the mind, but the aspect that's just like, what, what is that? It's just, it's just a little bit of enjoyment and a little bit of awe, sort of a magic trick type of feeling when, when, when you have a magic trick. 
uh, performed in front of you and then you're like oh man what is that what was that that whatever you're feeling right there that's pure magic we see it and we feel it in art we feel it in music we feel it in anything that is done in under that um, quote-unquote spell you know I say it's a spell but it's I mean, of course it's not a spell but I I, I don't know artists are weird <laughs> but and nevertheless that is what it is you guys I love that word nevertheless there it is you guys there is the awesome je ne sais quoi the el artista Trujillo I hope you guys enjoy the session. I hope uh, my weirdness doesn't offend anyone. And if it does, again, it's okay. It's okay. If I haven't offended anyone by about, uh, I don't know, noon, I haven't been doing my job. I'll leave you with this, you guys. This is Jose Trujillo. I am the world's greatest living artist. And uh, that is what it is. Take care. Have a great day. Till next time. Bye-bye.